Alright, yo, what is up, guys? My name is Brett, and welcome to a Black Ops 2 kind of, um, explaining what's going on in Black Ops 2 and all the questions that you guys have, um, that you have asked me on my Twitter. Whoa, almost dropped the camera there. Um, I have a very sketchy setup with this camera, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys asked me on Twitter, so I'm just gonna pull it up real quick. Uh, there's actually quite a few, and I'm surprised, because I didn't know... How many people would actually ask questions about Black Ops 2, but obviously a lot of people want to know about it. You saw my rank right there, level 50, so I know quite a bit about the game already, even pre-release. Okay, so uh, the first question comes from Clap Scorpion, and he says, uh, What is your favorite killstreak loadout? Um, well, guys, so far, I'm really, really liking the UAV, the Lightning Strike, and the Orbital. Um, so... The UAV obviously is really powerful in this game because you don't want to unlock Ghost to level 55, which is max level. I myself have been playing this game for four or five days, and I'm only 50, and I played the hell out of this game. So UAV is still very, very effective because no one has Ghost. And the only people I see level 55 is usually Prestige by now, but um, who knows. Lightning Strike um, is the second loadout I use. It's uh, kind of like a Mortar Strike, and it's immediate. It's pretty much immediate. It's maybe a two-second delay, so... Um, it shows people on the radar, um, and then you call them in, uh, you get three, and you call them in on the spots you want, and it just destroys everything. Easy quad feeds, especially in ground war, so it's really, really, uh, good to get a quick four or five kills, even, you know, triple on, on a bad note, if you put them in the right spot, that is. Um, so an orbital VSAT is the third kill streak I run, and that's a, ooh, it's a pretty high point streak, I think it's 1200, which is either 12 kills, or like a cap, and like 10 kills, or something like that. So it's kind of the same as a Blackbird, and that is the best setup i found so far to get amazing gun kills, and you'll see a lot of gameplays with me using that setup. Um, so the next question comes from um, Kamal Games, and he says, uh, how is a hit detection in maps? Um, well guys, a lot of people have been saying that the connection is a huge deal, so the hit detection depends on the connection of the, um, you know, the, the player. So, I have a pretty good connection most of the time. I usually have a three or four bar. I haven't really had any two bars. Even if I've had a two bar, you know, uh, it's usually one game that I back out, find a new lobby, because that's usually a EU uh, lobby, but it's very rare to find one of those. So um, I'd say the hit detection for me is very, very good. Some other people may disagree, but <coughs> um, it's it's pretty good for the most part. And uh, the maps, they run pretty good in 6v6. Ground War, not so much. I don't like him as much in Ground War, but that may be just the player and the chaos, but who knows. Um, so, uh, another question. The next question comes from Dylan um, Jeds1, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. My apologies if I'm not. Um, and he says, what happens when you prestige, like, uh, with the weapons and stuff? So, uh, from what I know is I've seen people who are already prestiged, and they have a gold MP7. So, when you prestige, I believe you keep um, your weapons. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm, I believe you keep all your weapons and you can choose to prestige your weapon. Now, I think you just restart, get a new icon, and then you're a prestige one, and I think you keep all your guns. I'm not quite sure, but you definitely keep all your camos for that gun when you unlock it, because this guy, he had gold for his MP7 by the time he was level 15 or whenever I saw him. So there's absolutely no way he's going to have gold by level 15. It's, it's just not possible. It's like a thousand headshots or something ridiculous like that. I, I don't have any gold guns, so I don't know. So I kind of must use that for an entire prestige already. Um, so that's what I think about uh, weapons and stuff. I think you reset all your perks. Um, I, th I believe your stats stay the same. That would make sense. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for that question. So um, I, then after that, I asked uh, if you guys want to see an IRL video or a uh, gameplay, and a lot of you said uh, IRL videos, or in real life videos, and I thought that was pretty awesome, because I really like talking to you guys like this, and I just wanted you guys to have the best experience for me answering these questions. Uh, okay, so the next question comes from Miles Minx, or um, at Minx underscore, and he says, uh, what do you think is the ACR slash MP7 of Black Ops 2? So basically what he's asking is, what's the strongest uh, submachine gun and assault rifle? Now, if I was to make a decision right now, two days before release of Black Ops 2, um, I'm going to say I love the Vector. I love the Vector, but I may be a little biased towards that. The Vector is amazing. MP7, it's okay in this game, but i got to say the Vector is probably my favorite submachine gun at the moment. 
I use three attachments on it, so I make the gun a very strong gun. I have scavenger. I'm not running out of ammo, so I use silencer, um, the laser sight, which makes it kind of like steady aim, and then extended mag. So it's a beast. It tears through people. It's a really great gun, and I believe that's the MP7 of Modern Warfare 3, or Black Ops 2, rather. And uh, the assault rifle. I really haven't found a really good assault rifle yet. I've unlocked the last assault rifle, or second last, which is the M841, which is kind of like a FAMAS um, from Modern Warfare 2, or a, um, a G11 from Black Ops 1. So it's kind of like a triple burst, it does a lot of damage, but I'm, I'm struggling to use it a little bit. A lot of people like it, but I would say that's probably the best so far, but I still don't like the assault rifles as of now. I also like sniping, and I would recommend... The DSR-50. Sorry, guys. I don't know all the names yet, so I'm just looking over there to my TV where it shows. And the DSR-50 is pretty cool. I'm just going to take this off. This is uh, bothering me. Uh, another question comes from Tonkarat, and he asks, is anything OP? And uh, it doesn't seem like anything is crazy OP. There's a counter to everything. One thing I really like and really hate at the same time is that stun grenades and uh, concussion grenades... Um, and all that kind of jazz flashbangs, they do a lot, a lot more damage than they used to now because it takes up an entire perk slot and it makes Tack Mass a very, very viable perk. I never used Tack Mass before, so I believe now this time around, Tack Mask is going to be used a lot more. Same with Flash Shields because grenades are very overpowered. I wouldn't say overpowered, but they're, you need to, uh, Flap Jacket to kind of counter that. Um, but without Flapjack, it nades are very strong, um, regardless. Okay, and, uh, another question comes from Quinn Ton Grant, and he asks, Do you feel that Black Ops 2 is more free-flowing game than other CODs? So, it, does it flow better? Does the gameplay work, um, consistently well? Well, guys, I would think that Black Ops 2 does, in fact, have a better flow than most games. Yes, it is a better game. At first, I hated this game. Now, I'm really kind of enjoying it. Partly because it's mostly skill to do with your gun. It's kind of like a COD 4 of the games. Um, it's hard to say because there's no death streaks, which is just fantastic. I love that. That's awesome. No last stand. No bullshit like that. There's no bullshit. And people still complain about the game. I play with a big party, big busy, Pacific Tomb. Uh, you know, Internal Rampage, all those kind of guys, and they still complain about every single death, about it, every single player. They say they like the game, they just don't like the players, and that's how COD is. If they have a two or three point, they have a two or three KD, and they still complain. Regardless, people are going to complain about the game unless they're getting the best game of their life, and that's what people tr strive for, and that's kind of what we call chasing the dragon. Um, so what is what else? So I do think it's a pretty good free, um, like a flow, a good flow in the game because there's no bullshit and. It kind of works well. The maps, people complain about head glitching a little more, but, you know, that's one thing. So, what level do you unlock Ghost Perk? And that comes from Black Ops 1948, or James Duran. And he wants to know that because, one, he wants to know when he can get it, or when other people can get it. When I think of it, I think of when other people can get it, because I get, I get kind of mad. But, uh, you do unlock it at level 55, which is max level. Which is awesome because uh, noobs won't be camping in the corner. It only works if you're moving. Remember that. It's very important. Um, so what's the best SMG in your opinion? Uh, I answered that kind of before, which was the Vector. And that comes from Black Ops uh, 1948. Same thing again. And uh, I think uh, that's about it for the questions I have in this video. And I could answer more if you guys want. Uh, but I'm just going to wrap it up now because it's been a nine whole minutes. And I hope you did enjoy. Um, so other than that guys, um, oh there's one more question, um, are bots supported in s and I don't know exactly know what that question means and it comes from James Ron again, um, I haven't played s and guys so I don't know, but anyways guys, if you did enjoy, subscribe and uh, I love you all, tweet me your questions and I will answer them in an upcoming video, so thanks guys, my name is Brett and as always, have a good one, peace out guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Warship awaiting orders.